This move will completely change your backswing. Okay, you're probably wondering why I'm filming this week's Sunday Swings from home. Well, there's a very good reason. Motsham Hall, where I do all my coaching, all my filming, opened back up today to the public. Now, I just felt it was too busy. I didn't want to get in the way of anybody, but I still wanted to bring you a video. So if you are brand new to the channel, warm welcome to the channel. We don't usually do it in my kitchen. Uh, it's usually out on the golf course. But ultimately, Sunday Swings is where you have a chance to win a free swing analysis and drills to take your game to the next level. It's so simple. All you've got to do is one, be a subscriber, and two, comment down below, hashtag pick me. Now, this week's winner is Mark Taylor. Well done to you, Mark. We're gonna be giving you some drills and some analysis, which we will do right now. But remember, everything that we do say today can really help you get a more loaded backswing, better turn, better separation, and this all leads to more consistent, better golf shots. Who doesn't want that, right? So, let's have a quick look at Mark's swing. So, if we look at it from the down the line perspective here, and we're gonna be concentrating on the backswing to begin with, you can see as we take the club away, the club really starts to work very much inside and is driven by the arms working independently. You can also notice here we don't quite complete a backswing and this for me is just coming down to a lack of understanding between hips and shoulders and how we actually achieve that. And if we can get the arms and body working a little bit more in sync, potentially we're gonna create a wider arc, we're gonna create a longer arc, more power, more consistency, and a less independent motion. Now, if you can get all those things working together, if you look at the downswing now, this is gonna help the club fall on plane easier, less manipulation, and less off balance finish. All these things are gonna to lead to consistent golf. So, if you're watching this right now, and you're like, well, Alex, like, my, my backswing is quite long enough. Well, you could also have a long backswing, but the arms work independently. Today's video is all about being more loaded in the backswing, understanding how you get there, and this is the drill I want to show you. So what you're going to need is quite simply, well, a stretchy band if you've got one, but if you haven't got one, just like a towel or something of this length, okay? And what we're gonna do here is, I, I'm a big believer in this, and this is something that I spoke about in my online lessons as well. If we can gain a feeling without a goal club in our hand, that we don't actually have an onus on outcome. Very often when we're trying to improve our golf swing, and potentially golf coaches don't tell you this, but I try and get this across to all my clients, is that when you're trying to improve something, ball flight will and potentially most likely go downhill. Because you're used to having a certain outcome and you expect if you change something to get that outcome right away. So by doing this drill, we're going to learn how to move the body and more, more importantly, the upper body against the lower body in the backswing. It's going to transform your game. Stick with me, guys. So what I'm looking for you to do here is get into golf posture. And that'll be from down the line perspective will look like this. Now, you notice as we had the golf club before, this golf club worked very much inside and there wasn't a lot of rotation of the upper half against the lower half. Very much an arms driven move and the hands didn't really go past shoulder height for Mark. But what I want you to do here is, and this is why I love this swing, because potentially if you haven't got a chance to play at the minute, I would like you to do this maybe one, two, three times um, a day. Literally, spend two or three minutes each day doing this. It's gonna change your backswing. I promise you, I absolutely promise you. So what we're looking to do with this is get the knuckles to the sky on the lead hand and the palms to the sky on the trail hand. And I want you to have it where you've got the arms to begin with, just in of shoulder width apart, but you're gonna stretch it, so a towel or something that's got a little bit of give in it, stretch it until the hands work to shoulder width apart. So you notice here I've gone from them working in to stretching them to shoulder width apart. Now in golf posture, let's do the move. Do it from base on and we'll do it from down the line as well. Warn you, it's a bit of a toughie this one. Nah, I'm joking. It's good, it's not a toughie really. So what we're looking for here is, is a real detachment of the upper half from the lower half, but keeping the arms working with the body. So before, we were just making swings here, Mark and for everybody, with the arms working independent. Whether that's a short swing or a long swing, they pretty much tie in together. So what I want you to do here is, can we get the upper half being dominant until the lead arm, so my left arm, gets parallel to the ground? 
At this point, my hips are collected and this allows me to complete my turn. So again, let me show you this. Lead arm works all the way up to parallel. Collect the hips, create the full motion. Let me show that from down the line perspective as well because it's a real nice one. Up to hip height, collect the lower half. Now in position with nice separation, upper half turn more than lower, wide arc, consistency. And guess what? Does this look actually like me at the top of the backswing? And as if by magic, golf blew in my hand, because look, separated to together, look where we are. We're in the exact positions we want to be in. So if I show you this now with the golf club, up to hip height, up to shoulder height, bring the lower half in, bring the hands together, well, that's exactly what we're looking to achieve. Now, a lot of you will do that move off the golf ball, maybe with, a, maybe with the stretchy band, but as soon as you get a golf ball down there, it's hard. So taking it from this stage to this stage is absolutely key. No actual outcome. This is where we could do it at home, part of our warm up. It's really nice to get a feeling of how I become loaded, how I keep the arms and body working together. We throw this away. Oh, a few of you enjoyed that sound. <laughs> um, we throw that away, we get the golf club in, and we go through the same motion. Knuckles up, palm up, to the arm parallel to the ground, collect the lower half, bring the hands together. Well, now we can hit one away. And what I would suggest is that you actually just tee it up a little bit. Put it on a little bit of a tee peg. Hit it away, get a feeling of what it is to be loaded, what it is to be turned. I can honestly, seriously promise you, it will feel so much different. Before you go, before you go, you need to see this bit. I'm gonna do it now, just a normal golf swing, and show you how that really does apply. If we take that whole feeling now and do it with both hands on the golf club, look how the upper half dominant, so this triangle between lead arm and hands, becomes dominant. I might get a much wider swing, I learn how to separate lower and upper, and it's a key skill to actually taking your back swing from here to here. And what I would say is my expression is that we coil up, we spring, we let it go. But if we're doing this just with our arms, we can't coil up, we can't spring, we've got absolutely nothing to let go. So we've got no store of power, we've got no accuracy, we've got no consistency. And of course, I'm not saying for one minute that you couldn't play good shots, of course we can. But we're looking to take our golf games to the next level, whatever that might be. So Mark, what do you think of that? I love that and it's something that I should do way more often because that resistance on the band makes it quite hard, but then when you actually get a golf club in your hand, it feels easy. And I'm all about making your training harder than it actually is. Because if you can do that, you can make it harder you take your game to the next level. Now, I know it's been a little bit odd doing it from my kitchen, but I really want to take this opportunity to call out a few comments from the last few videos. So, from Short Game Saturday, which was just yesterday, uh, we had Neilab, he said, Alex Elliott Golf, great videos, thank you so much for the amazing tips. Um, Jay Rhodes said, Alex, enjoyed your approach, keep up the great content. Thanks so much, guys, for yours. Jay and Nilab, and the final one that I want to go with here is from Paul Dolby. That is my key drill for the last 13 months. It's a great move for speed, consistency, delivery, great explanation, love the sound effects. And you've got one of them in there today, guys. You know that. Ding. Well, sort of like that. Honestly, thanks so much for the support. I can promise you that tomorrow we will be back out on the golf course. I promise you. I'm going to get up super early. I'm going to get to the golf club at 6 a.m. when it's quiet because I know it's going to be super busy. Bank holiday Monday tomorrow. And guys, if you are playing tomorrow, Bank Holiday Monday, comment down below where you're thinking of playing. I'm gonna get there early, film the videos, I'm gonna get Miracle Monday done, Trading Tuesday and Wednesday Wisdom. And I can't wait to get back out there in the sunshine with it being glorious. <sighs> but most of all, guys, please stay safe. That's all we have time for in this week's 
Sunday Swings. Again, I apologize if it's a little bit of a strange one. I was just still wanting to bring you some content and bring you this week's Sunday Swings to give you guys a chance to win a free swing analysis and drills to elevate your game. So just to remind you, if you do want to be on next week's edition of Sunday Swings, it's so simple. One, be a subscriber. Uh, two, do not forget to put hashtag pick me down below.